All right, you guys, moment of truth is here. Fire up Photoshop, open up your folder, grab the AK-47 image, and drop it into Photoshop. And the first thing we need to do is actually separate it from the background. So we are going to double click on the background to unlock it. We're going to hit W for the magic wand tool. Now there are two wands actually. Let me show you. Here's the first one. And this is what the cursor looks like. So if you click on the white part, it's going to select all the white, but it doesn't do a good job. So uh, usually this works for some images, but some images it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna, going to uh, deselect that. And I am going to hit the quick selection tool. Now this one is much better because this one allows you to actually paint on top of the object that you want to select. And... Uh, it does a pretty good job. So all I'm doing is just clicking, by the way, you guys. So if you have a tablet, you would be painting. But if you don't have a tab tablet, don't worry. Just, just click around. Just do a few clicks here and there. And as you guys can see, it does a pretty good job of, of doing a selection. Now, it doesn't cover all the bases. So you still have to zoom in a little bit. So let's zoom in. And we're going to have to bring the brush uh, size down with the left angle bracket key. Just a little bit down. And slowly, just slowly paint on the parts where it missed. So we can do that. And don't worry about if it goes out because we're going to come back and clean it up anyway. So we can do just a quick selection right here. It got this. Let's see if we missed anything here. It got all these sections. Let's see. There's a little bit it missed over here. Uh, this looks good. This is fine. You can take all this. It's okay. We will clean all this uh, stuff later on. It got this part. It got this part. It missed some stuff here. That's cool. Okay. I think we got everything. And with the selection still intact, we're going to hit Control X. Got it. Control Shift V to paste it. Now, uh, we can create a new layer behind the gun layer. Uh, hit G for the uh, bucket tool. And let's just put in like a gray background because I don't like to work on a white background. It's just too bright. It hurts my eyes. So I like to work on something gray. Plus we can see what the, what the selection missed. And then you can uh, just delete that layer because we don't need it anymore. Okay, let's do some cleanup. We are going to zoom in. And let's clean up this part. So I'm going to hit W for the magic wand again. Uh, this time, though, I don't want to use the paint selection. I'm going to try the other one because uh, I think it's going to be much better. And yeah, there you go. And by holding shift, you can expand these selections. So uh, this looks pretty good. Let's just hit delete. Delete that. And then deselect with control D. This looks clean enough. We can come back and clean it on later on. Uh, let's see this part. Hit. Click a few times. It's going to expand it. That looks good. Delete. And we'll hit it here again. Let's just do a quick delete. I'll come back and clean all that, all that stuff up. So click, click with shift, delete. This one should be a clean selection. Just hold shift, click a few times. There you go. Uh, let's see, there was this little part right here. Shift, shift, okay. It's clean enough. And now let's do this one. This one's gonna be a little bit messy, but it's okay. You can handle it. Just keep, just hold shift and click on the parts slowly until it selects everything. There you go. That looks cool. Let's delete that. And it leaves a whole bunch of mess. So we're going to go and clean it up. We're going to hit the eraser. And you are going to select some kind of brush right here. That looks cool. And we are just going to slowly and very carefully delete some of this stuff. Don't worry about making it super perfect, you guys, because this is a uh, an AK from the post-apocalypse, so it's not supposed to be clean or beautiful or whatever. Just do your best. So this looks good. Uh, let's see. There's some ugly stuff right here I want to clean. 
and and don't be scared you guys i mean i want you to feel very confident so like if this thing doesn't look nice to you just delete it like what is this piece i don't know and i don't like it i don't want to keep it so i'm just going to delete it the whole point is to be very comfortable right now because we're going to jump in and manipulate this thing and cut it and paint on top of it so don't, don't be scared of this image at all you guys so just make a small brush right now just like i'm doing come in and do some cleanup don't worry about the edges that you see right here i'm gonna fix that right now i'll show you how to do that so we come in here let's fix this stuff real quick just like that erase 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 looks cool done let's fix some of these parts right here erase i don't know just a little bit just some cleanups and that looks good to me let's make the brush a little bit bigger let's do this very quick cleanup you can even hold shift if it's a straight edge and erase that looks good erase 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 hold shift press erase it nice and clean again let's hold shift on this one and erase this stuff uh thank you but no erase and erase cool all right a few more touches this thing right here okay and we are done with the cleanup now uh the reason i didn't pay too much attention to all this white stuff on the border is because photoshop has a great 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 option that handles this stuff so if you click on layer matting the fringe just do like width one pixel and watch what happens you see that it did its thing and it did a nice cleanup and now it looks uh, very crispy and the edges are great. So uh, we are done with separating the gun. Let's work on the handle next. So go to your folder, grab the handle image, drag it, throw it into a new file right here. Again, with the uh, quick selection tool, hit W, click, paint, select. Look at that. Super quick. Control X to cut it. Come back, control shift paste to paste it. Nice. Uh, let's hit control T to scale it around, flip it. Let's put it into the right angle, kind of. Let's bring it here, compare it. Now, if you hold alt and shift, you can scale it down uniformly. Let's bring it into something like that. That looks great. And we're going to throw it here on the side for now. Now let's cut the actual AK's handle. So I am going to zoom in just like that. Now I'm going to hold uh, L, I mean press L for the lasso. This lets you draw like that. If you hit Control D, you can deselect that. Now, if you hold Alt, you can do organic shapes just like this, but then when you let go of the mouse, it turns into a straight shape. So you can do this, 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 and then go back to paint, do a straight edge, straight edge, straight edge, and then once you're done, you can deselect. So let's do Alt with your lasso tool selected. Hold Alt and keep it pressed down. Now let's do a little shape right here. Let's cut this just like that. Now I'm going to let go. And now we're turned into the straight edge. I'm going to click right here. And just like that, cut this edge straight, as straight as I can. Go back, draw, close it off. There you have it. Make sure you are on the AK layer, control X, control shift V to paste it back in place. And now we have it in its own layer. Okay. Let's, um, let's grab the handle, go back to V. V is basically your, just your basic selection tool. Click on the layer, the handle. Let's bring it back. Now uh, let's, uh, control T just to position it a little bit more. That looks cool. Let's bring it right here. What I'm making sure is that this edge hits this edge, the handle to the gun itself. That looks nice. Um, let's hide the original handle. Let's bring it down with uh, control left bracket. 
I'm going to put it behind the actual um, backgrounds, but we keep it as a thing. We keep it as a backup. Grab the handle layer. Again, control left arrow bracket key brings it down one layer. Now it's sitting in place. Let's do a defringe to take out all the white edges again. So we're going to click layer, matting, defringe. Let's do one pixel again and now watch the edges. Clean. See that? It's nice and clean. And we can zoom in just a little bit and hit E for eraser and then you can slowly erase you know extras or whatever this stuff you don't like this stuff it's okay don't worry too much about it because we're gonna paint on top of it anyways okay now we got this it's in place it looks good let's play with the lighting a little bit so we can make it fit the actual design you see like this has a certain lighten it has a certain look to it and this looks very odd it's out it's like it doesn't belong so we're going to hit Control l to bring the levels up and i want to darken it a little bit so let's see um i can overall darken the whole thing just by doing that it's already looking good and then we can play with these right here this makes it a little bit darker too this makes it light you don't want to touch that this brings the darkest darks in this is looking good uh that's fine so far i like this i'm just gonna say this looks good okay now let's go back in zoom in now there is this seam right here which doesn't make sense and i don't like it so i want to take it out how are we going to do that okay first of all what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer on top of the handle hold alt click right in between them and now we created a mask kind of thingy i'll show you what this does so i hit b click on the brush let me uh put like a different color so you guys can see what's happening now because this layer is masked to this layer kind of when i paint i can only paint on the actual grip itself i could never go out so this helps a lot especially when you want to do some controlled painting so here's what we're going to do guys this is your first test we are going to start painting now it really helps if you have a tablet because you have full control of it but if you don't have a tablet i'll show you how to do it with the mouse so let's take out this edge how do we take out this edge basically we are going to select uh, by holding alt you can select the color right here from this part and then just paint below it slowly just slowly brush below it and keep going just like that select the part from the top go down paint below it just like that it's nice and slow keep it very controlled very you know don't go crazy don't go like do the stuff like this then you're gonna have to do a lot of work to bring it back but just select the color from the top and just slowly brush it down very slow and you can even select like this highlight color smooth it in here just like that you can you know start to get comfortable with the idea of painting now if you have edges they're looking too uh, far apart in terms of color like you see this one and this one just select one color and then just slowly brush in there it's gonna fade away eventually and there you have it now let's say i just put my tablet pen down let's say you don't have nothing but a mouse this is me on the mouse right now so what we're going to do we're still on the brush we're on b uh if you hit five on your keyboard and watch the opacity it brings it down to 50 percent. so now when i paint i'm only painting in like 50 percent increments right here see that now if i do two it's gonna do 20 if i do 10 it's gonna do uh 10 uh 7 70 90 0 is actually back to 100 so we're going to start with 50 you see this little line right here let's say i want to take it out well we're going to do the same thing i'm going to select the color from here right next to it and slowly paint on top of it with a 50 percent if you see the 50 percent is not doing the job maybe bring it up to 70 or if you see it's doing too much damage just try 20 30 eventually you will get the hang of it and you can actually paint with a mouse believe it or not or not 
It's, it's going to be a pain, but I mean, there you go, guys. Within three clicks, I actually took out um, the line. Le I'm just going to show you another example here. I'm still on the mouse. Let's say I want to take this part out. I want to blend this with this here. I'm just going to select this. I am on 50% and I'm just going to click slowly. And there you have it. I'm slowly blending now. See? Now, this edge is gone. Now I need to blend this color with this color to make it a little bit nicer. And I just clickety, clickety, slice and slow until everything blends. And trust me, you guys, if you keep doing this, eventually it's going to look exactly the way you want it. And there you have it. And that's pretty much it. And before I get too carried away, let's... If you hit control one it zooms out and here's the handle that we have now the handle itself is um by the way let's close this because we don't need it anymore the handle itself looks very clean it doesn't look like it came out of the post apocalypse so let's destroy it so we're going to go to our folder let's grab this texture this one looks nice it's like a ch paint chipped uh, paint chipping texture going to throw it right here uh, if you hold alt and click on the grip layer again, it's going to mask to that grip layer. Control T, control minus to zoom out. Again, alt shift on the corner to scale it. Let's bring it down a little bit. Uh, let's find something interesting. Let's see what's interesting. Uh, uh, let's do maybe something like this. And what I'm paying attention to is the, the, the peeling stuff. I want this peeling stuff to show on the grip. So what are we going to do? First of all, this is like, I don't like the color. So we want to desaturate it. How do we do that? First, we got to unlock it. Right now it's locked. So we hit E for eraser, click on it, hit OK. Now it's unlocked so we can paint on it, as you can see. Uh, Control Z, by the way, to, unlock, uh, to undo that. Now hit V again. We have it selected. I clicked on it. And we are going to do control shift U to desaturate. Now, if you guys are struggling following me with my shortcuts, just go to image adjustments and it's somewhere here. Desaturate right there. Okay, so now it's desaturated. It's black and white. Basically, there's no color. Let's play around with the blending modes and see what, what happens. So we're going to click here one time, close it down again. And I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to go through these blending modes. Okay, there you go. Now we're getting something interesting here. It's a good idea to zoom in. This looks nice. Let's see what else other than multiply. Maybe something else will come up. Oh, okay. Overlay is nice. This is nice, but too bright. Oh, okay. Not too bad. I am actually going to go with, what was it? Um, multiply. Yeah, I liked multiply. Let's just bring the darks a little bit more. So we are going to click Control L. And I want to bring the darks a little bit more so I can see them. This is too much. Let's bring the lights a little bit too so we can see what's going on. Uh, it might be a good idea to try this one one trick before. Okay, so let's, with the uh, dirt layer, whatever, the chipped paint layer selected, double click on the wording itself, right here. It's going to open up this layer. Now, uh, this lets you blend the top layer onto the one that it's on the bottom. So we want to take out the whites, but show the blacks. So we can start by clicking right here and dragging this stuff. And as you can see, now, all I'm seeing is just the dark stuff. Now, let's find a nice in-between spot right here, let's say. And then if you hold Alt, click on the right half. You see, it splits the pointer and you can bring it back. And then you control how much dark and light you want to come out. So let's try and experiment with this. Let's bring this out just like that. Let's bring this just like that a little bit more. That's cool. Yeah, that looks nice to me. Let's do this. 
hit OK. And now let's go back to the uh, Control L to the levels. And now let's bring the darks. Let's see what happens. So there you go. Now it's showing even more. This looks nice. There you go. Bring some highlights back in. There you go. Maybe a little bit darker here. Let's see what happens. No, nope, I don't like that. Let's keep it this way. So now if you guys can see what's happening is the uh you're getting like this kind of destroyed you know worn out handle kind of plasticky handle or rubbery handle instead of the clean one that we had if you could see from before now it's all destroyed and messed up now if this still doesn't look good what we can do is play around with the blending modes again so basically you have to find the good balance between the blending modes and the levels so let's see let's see what happens with if we change from multiply to something else much more interesting right here actually if you guys see this this is much more interesting let's 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 say we're gonna use nor uh, overlay I'm gonna hit control T let's move around see if we can find something better oh yeah yeah yes 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 this look definitely looks much better to me oh look at this do you see this section right here this is what I'm looking at. Look at that. This is peeled. Peeled to the max. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, I like this. I'm going to pick this, but look, because we changed the blending mode, now it's way too bright. So let's double click again on this thing. Let's play around with this. Let's take out some of those whites a little bit more. Just keep the darks. Yeah, there you go there you go now there you go we're just seeing the darks right now again hold alt to split it it's gonna bring back this stuff uh this stuff takes out the darks you can try to take out the darks from the layer on on the bottom same thing is gonna happen you can take out the lights from the layer at the bottom too there you go you see the corner see what's happening there you go let's see what this does okay yeah i know you don't want to touch that. You can even bring this a little bit more down. A little bit more down so we see more details right here. That looks great. Now we're going to go back. Control L. And make it darker. There you go. Not too much. You guys want to be very careful with this stuff. Very subtle changes. Slow and subtle slow and subtle I like this you take your time make sure you're happy with it once you're happy with it we're gonna create a new layer on top of it again alt in between to mask and now let's zoom in control plus and we're gonna do some very minor painting to make sure it looks good everything looks nice so B for brush right click Make sure you have a, a color that you want. Make sure you're on 100% if you're using a tablet and you accidentally pressed 50 or whatever. Okay, now here's what we're going to do, just like before. Whatever we see right here and we don't want, we're just going to take away. So let's see. Uh, this looks like a nice, you see this? It's like a chunk that's been taken out of the rubber. I want to emphasize that. So I'm just going to grab the color and just paint on the edges to make it a little bit more sharper. I want sharp edges. There you go. And then slowly, slowly, but surely, take out all the other details. Let's say we don't want this edge. You can take it out. Just like that, slowly, blending as you go. Uh, let's see. Let's take out this highlight. I don't want it. Let's paint, 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 paint. And if you do it right, eventually it will go away. Now this peel effect I like. Let's emphasize it. I'm going to bring the shadow out again. And basically what is a peel effect? Well, if you look at this and understand what a peel effect is, it's basically a shadow, just like what I'm doing right here. The shadow separates the bottom layer from the top layer. And then you need some highlight on the top to emphasize that. So just like that. I just made a peel right here. 
So you guys can actually invent stuff, but if you don't feel like that confident in, you know, painting your own peels and going ham on this thing, then just uh, the areas that look blurry, just come in and you just emphasize them with some painting, make them look crispy. This is all up to you, but the basics, anybody can do. I'm just picking colors and taking stuff out here. I don't want some of this stuff. I'm just going to take it out just like that. So basically I'm doodling, but it's very controlled. Just like that here. Let's do a cut right here. Just like that. And there you have it. Now, usually when a surface meets another surface, there is something called an ambient inclusion and we're going to draw that basically. So I selected a, um, a soft brush and I'm simply just going to do a little touch up right here. And that might be too much control. I'll do undo that. Let me just do a little ambient occ occlusion right here. And now let's zoom out and see what the hell we did. And there you have it, you guys. Look at that. We have a destroyed, worn out handle. Let's look at it from before. This is how it was. And this is how it is right now. Jesus Christ, Photoshop. There you go. This looks nice to me. So with it, when you're done with this step, you're going to click on the first layer, hold shift, all of them, select all of them and hit control G to group. And there you have it. That's the group. Now, uh, let's do a quick comparison. I'm going to actually, we don't need to. It's grouped. Now, if you guys saw, we actually took out this part. So I'm going to come on the AK layer itself, hit B, make my brush a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to grab this color and then just paint it right here just like that and don't be scared you guys like i said i want you to be confident i want you to manipulate this thing the way you wish don't be scared of the gun destroy it okay and then let's lock the transparency on the ak so we don't paint anywhere else right now i'm just going to paint on the ak itself let's grab some of these colors just like that and let's make this edge a little bit darker you can even make this a little bit darker and there you have it control one to zoom out Ooh. and there you have it handle is done hit control s to save your file and next we're going to work on another part. Mm -hmm.